Well, they must be confident about him, Herbie, if they want the ball right away for a freshman quarterback in this setting, that says something about him. You and I, I think, both looked at each other and said, wow, they want to toss it, want the football. Ball is on the tee for Kevin Kelly with Joe Pa with the headset on. Lamar Thomas and Maurice Wells are back deep. Kelly drives it into the end zone and coming out is Thomas 15. Alley on the left and a fine return Herbie to the 34 yard line. Tell us about the impact. They put both tight ends over to the right. They're going to throw from this formation and Pryor who can run is going to leg it for the first down. There he is getting outside for the first time here tonight. Yep. Now they bring in Brandon Sane. Terrell steps away, throws complete for the first down. Sansenbacher, Dane Sansenbacher, the sophomore from Toledo, Ohio. And they're in the confusion. Will they come after him on third and 12? They look like they're in their base defense. They rush four. A stunt with the tackles. Pryor looks downfield, drops it off short of the first down. Ball on the ground. Incomplete pass. So they stop him on the big third D now. And Williams is lined up in that backfield. That's Corliss moving through it. The toss to number two, Derek Williams, the senior, and Alley. And he has got a first down. So they line Williams up, get his initial touch 73 out there to clear it for a couple more yards. Now Royster back in. And a beautiful fake by Clark. A first down at midfield as he rolls and gets to bracket, I believe, was in that last run. Buckeyes rush three and break free. Clark goes long in the air, incomplete, and a penalty flag flies. Deion Butler, the intended receiver. Washington, one of the defense partners. Pass interference. Number three on the offense. That penalty's declined. Brings up fourth down. Third and 12. Pryor forced on the run. Picking up the first down, however, as he puts it in Beanie Wells' hands. Go on early downs. On third and ten. Won't get the first down this time. Sansenbacher's second reception of the night. And Tony Davis. Mc Williams motions through. Clark. Good runner, battles for the first down, I believe. That's a strong run, and you mentioned the fact that he can. Here they come again. Got one on one with Butler, and he hit Washington, and there's a penalty flag. Pass interference, number 20 on the defense. So that's one Ball on the offense the of the foul. and one on the defense. Norwood's not going to get it off. He's going to be sacked. They fail to convert that third down, and the Nittany Lions will... He's going to let him throw. Over the top, wide open for a first down, Zanzenbacher. And he makes it deep into Nittany Lion territory. Blown coverage by the Nittany Lions. That's exactly right. Fortunately hit uh, Philadelphia. So now, the direct snap, prior, incomplete. Another third down that they were able to put. Yeah, the uh, Buckeyes <laughs> have turned them back to analog here. <laughs> Clark rolls, fires for the first down, and Derek Williams ducks out of bounds, and he's got the first and ten. When in doubt, get the football to your playmaker. Here's the read. Clark keeps it. Dives toward the yellow first down indicator, and uh, looks like the spot is... And Clark himself has to battle. 
strong resistance in the middle of that front. Right on. Well, the average starting field position will be for. Play fake by Clark trying to buy time. Now he's going to go downfield. He's got a man open. Got him. Graham Zug. And the Nittany Lions answer with a big play of their own. The dip. Keep an eye on Thaddeus Gibson at the bottom of the screen. He's getting a lot of pressure. Here's your third and nine. Drops it in underneath, and Royster trying to get the first down will not, and that'll bring Kelly onto the field. A big hit from Cameron Hayward. Iron hit. He's not kicking. He's not shooting a free throw, folks. <laughs> Three nothing. Brittany Lyon. And ten. And here's Pryor backing up. Going to go deep to Robisky. Incomplete. He came to double coverage. Scarato, the safety, was there. Off and running, and that's what Penn State's had success with is containment after he runs. Third and nine, snaps it off. Very close to a first down. You see where the forward progress is going to be marked. Robisky was the numbers in the first half. Deep down the sideline, Robisky. Goes in the air and snatches it down at the 27 yard line. Do they have enough time to get that? So, this to tie the game here in the first half. High snap, pulled down beautifully. And he ties it. Excellent job by the holder, John Toma, that time, who yanked a high snap down and had a perfect hold. That's score of eight. Going to throw for this one. Play fake and a throw on first down. Got an open receiver. Brandon Sane, who checked in as one of the running backs. Number three, an outstanding receiver. Sane is back on the field. He's been a factor. Number three is one of the running backs off to the right. He's been able to slip out as a receiver. Third down and seven. Comes back to the sideline and the ruling catch at the 26 yard line by Robisky. Beanie Wells, I don't want to mislead anyone. He didn't throw for all of them. They ran for several, but the Buckeyes as a team are that. Let's go to Matt in New York for. There's that read option, and Beanie did not get there. Audric, Jared Audric, number 91, jumped into that hole. So Paso is going to put it down. Slides it in. Buckeyes lead it. For the first time. To now they're going to slot Williams off to the left. And it looks like Hines is out there. They're going to back off and show zone against him. Clark's rolling in that way. Coming in, he hits Williams at midfield. The play was set up all the way, and the buck. Here comes Clark, wide open. His biggest run of the night. When you bring two lines. Inside shuttle pass. Royster running to daylight, but he is short of the first down. Hayward makes another stop. He too has had a big game. The defensive tackles have played very good. <laughs> he set the tone. 45 yarder. Kelly has kicked a 52. This to tie it. Long enough, but off to the right. No good. The Buckeyes at their arch rival down in Ann Arbor. It seems that way tonight, and Pryor keeps it this time for a first down. 
Fine fake by Terrell. And they're working on that. 80 or 85 percent. That's pretty good for a true freshman. Straight handoff this time, and Beanie breaks tackle or two. Close to midfield. Away from Daryl Clark. Terrell Pryor, fumble, loose ball. Knock free. Big loose ball, big scrum. Looks like the Lions may have bounced on it. It looked like Bowman may have gotten to the ball and recovered it. This is a great scrum because one of the defensive players knocked it further back so it could not be recovered by a Buckeye. This is your key play, perhaps. Take a big look at this, folks. Brent, it's third and one, and he tried it by instead of just taking the sneak in the first down, he tried to run it to the outside and tried to go 55 yards for a touchdown. And Bowman recovers, and so here come the Lions now. Royster. He gets the handoff from the new quarterback, Pat Devlin. So Daryl Clark goes to the side of the Lions. Devlin back to throw, stands tall, slant, and there's the penalty. He gets the interference call against Williams as they slant on Washington, and it's his second pass inter. Got to get it off. Royster behind a block on the right side, slants, got the first down. It is a first and goal for the Nittany Lions. Now they're coming down toward 10 seconds. You see the clock. Devlin and the offense. They're coming down toward five. He's got to hurry now. Straight ahead to the end zone. No signal yet. We're waiting. It looked like he dove in easily. But no signal. No signal yet. There it is, touchdown Lions. Pat Devlin replaces Daryl Clark after a recovered fumble, and we've got our first touchdown of the game. It all goes back to the turn of excited to have such great field position and took advantage of it. And Kelly tacks on the extra point. So Devlin's second run. Throw the ball to him out of the backfield. I think they'll give him the option to run or throw here. Sane slips out. In trouble. Terrell in a foot race. Can he get the first down? Cannot. Tony Davis denied him the first down. Road, especially in a low-scoring game like this. Royster to daylight. Got the first down. The Nittany Lions with the ball. They lead it by four. This is Royster working on the clock, breaking a couple of tackles. And moving toward another first down. Mr. Laurinaitis and the Bucks get ready for a big third down. Keep it on the ground, run Royster, conservative call. Laurinaitis is there on the stop. In 67 by Minnesota's Danny Nystrom and Iowa's Nate Keating. And here he comes. He's made it a seven. Two for three here tonight. That first throw. Has time, receiver open, hits him at the 40-yard line. And Small ducks back to the 44-yard. Third down and 10. Small again for the first down. Beanie Wells couldn't block his man, but Terrell steps away from him and goes deep. End zone! Intercepted. Picked off by Lydell Sargent. 
And the Nittany Lions are going to win in Columbus for Joe Paterno for the first time in 30 years. And several times, but they never broke. I think they would you agree they have one of the strongest defenses? And we see a lot of great teams, but they are they're one of the best. That's right. Boy, what a big win for Penn State. So Joe Paterno, 381 wins for the legend. But it's been 30 years since he last won a game in Columbus, Ohio. And tonight, he has another victory. And this one could go down as one of the biggest wins of all time for Joe Paul.